you know, I guess first of all, just what's it like to be in Pensacola and, uh, you know, the chance to be around the first year of the Twins affiliate here? So far, it's been great. I mean, I've only been in town since about 1 a.m. this morning, so <laughs> I haven't seen much of the town. Yeah. But uh, it's cool to be out here. It's a beautiful stadium, and I've heard nothing but great things about the crowd and the fans and the support for the uh, team, so I'm excited to get going. You know, just as far as uh, I know you start out in the military, you know, go to the Air Force Academy. What kind of drew you to go to an academy and, uh, you know, be a part of that life? Yeah, um, kind of did a bunch of little small decisions. Um, the Air Force Academy is about 30 minutes from where I grew up in Denver. Um, so being able to stay home and cl or stay close to home was a big plus. The yeah. uh, education was huge. Yeah. Um, just the life opportunities it gave me um, and would set me up for later in life was uh, kind of all just a no-brainer, all being able to play D1 baseball sort of made sense. You know, I know you, uh, you know, pretty good high school ball player, you know, in uh, the Phillies draft you. Was it an easy decision to make to, to go to school first and not go pro? I never even thought about signing yeah. out of high school. I was always going to go to college. I didn't know where at the time, yeah. but um, I knew I was ever going to sign out of high school. <laughs> You know, as far as just uh, from playing at the Air Force and just being a part of that life, what did you kind of gain from the experience, especially playing baseball in college and before going pro? I think the biggest thing for me was there was uh, the uh, mental side yeah. and the, uh, the like mental growth that I gained from there. It, uh, it takes a different kid to go to that school yeah. and to make it through and to play a sport as well. Um, just the camaraderie that you, you gain with your teammates and all that stuff. Um, it's just a different college experience than most other kids, so that helped me out a ton. You know, just playing baseball too in college, you feel like the benefit of you going to pro, you know? Oh, absolutely. Um, I tell, I try to tell as many kids as I can that are in high school <laughs> thinking about signing out of high school, don't do it, go to play yeah. or go to college. Yeah. You'll, you know, you'll have fun, you'll learn a lot, and um, you'll develop into a better ball player. You know, just as far as, um, you know, playing baseball in 2017 for a short amount of time and then finally getting back into 2018, how tough was it to kind of step away from the game and not be a part of it for, you know, most for a season. Yeah, it was one of the hardest things that I had to do. Obviously, it was out of my control. There was nothing much yeah, I could yeah, do, yeah. so I had to take it with a grain of salt. But um, when I came back, it was almost like I really hadn't missed a beat. I um, jumped right back into it, and my body felt great, my arm felt great. So I was just really excited to be back and competing again. What was last year like for you? How did you feel? as far as just pitching went last year for you? Yeah, like I said, it, it was great. Um, I didn't really feel like I had missed a yeah. certain amount of time, which was awesome. I mean, most of the kids on my team were my my, my, uh, my good friends and my teammates <clears throat> from uh, the year before and okay. my draft class. So gotcha. it was great going back and meeting up with them. But um, yeah, I was just really excited to be there full time and I'm um, excited to see where it allows me to go from now on. What did you feel like you gained from last season as far as just a, from a baseball player standpoint? <laughs> um, just experience. Yeah. Uh, Minor league baseball takes a uh, toll on the body, <laughs> yeah. especially when you're throwing over 100, 100 innings. <laughs> so it was the first time I'd done that since college. Um, so it was it was good to go uh, put my body back through that and just understand what it takes for me to get to the next level. How about being in Double A now and getting to play, you know, in the Southern League? Yeah, I'm excited. Uh, <laughs> every step is a step up, um, and it's going to be um, some learning, like setbacks and hard points. I'm going to need to grow from, but. Um, knowing that I'm in double-A now, knowing that um, the Twins trust me with this opportunity and I'm going to yeah. take it in full force and keep pushing myself to become a better ball player. You know, getting to be in the military and, and just being a part of that, I mean, do you feel like that benefits you as a baseball player just because you, you know, it can't be as tough, I guess, as, sure. as going, you know, being in the Air Force Academy. The thing that really helps me out with is understanding that um, there's life outside of baseball. A lot yeah. of kids here um, don't really understand that. So I know what I'm sort of missing out on. Yeah. And I know that um, this is really like a vacation to me. Yeah. So I'm trying to take it in retrospect to that and just understanding that I need to put all my effort into this because it's not going to be there one day and I could be back behind a yeah. desk somewhere. So, you know, as far as being a pilot, what was that? What was the draw to that? Just oh, I wasn't a pilot. Or even a firefighter? Okay, no, you know, never. You got to be a firefighter. Okay. In the Air Force, were you with the, what did you kind of do? What was kind of your So role my Air with? Force job is called an acquisitions manager. Okay. Sort of like a okay. small project uh, manager around the base, okay. making sure uh, the roads were paved, we gotcha. had enough water, you know, that kind okay. of stuff. So the okay. financial side, the the less yeah. glitty, glitzery, yeah. you know, than the Blue Angels yeah, flying yeah, around, yeah. but uh, very important to say the least. So a lot of the bases around here, do you, have, do you know people that have, that are, you know, stationed here? I don't have any na uh, naval buddies. Gotcha. Um, at, uh, at Pensacola base, but I do have some buddies I graduated with that are down in Eglin. Okay, in Destin. okay, okay. You know, as far as getting to be a part of the world-class athlete program, what was your reaction to get getting accepted into that? 
you know, getting there. Yeah, it was kind of a whirlwind process because um, once I became a back or accepted back into Olympic sport, I had such a short window to apply to yeah. get going for the 2018 season. So. Um, I didn't really have much time to like sit back and enjoy it. I kind of was just forcing like all the paperwork to go up at the right time, and it was it was stressful, but glad it happened. So, what's kind of involved? What's kind of involved with that? You know, what goes into that program for for you? I really don't know if I'm allowed to say. Okay, gotcha, um, gotcha. So okay. I don't want to say anything. So <laughs> no, I understand. Like, you know, t to know that you've. You've got an opportunity to maybe make the Olympics. I mean, what's that like for you trying to chase that dream too? Of, yeah, know, that's definitely a really cool opportunity. You know, most kids don't know what it's like to play one pro ball, but also yeah. to play um, an Olympic sport for your country. So yeah. um, if I'm selected to that team, then I'm going to, you know, wear the military uniform and the country's uniform. <laughs> so is there going to be like trials come, you know, after the season? As far, or how does that work as far as the Olympic side of it? Um, I'm not really sure how the process works. Yeah. I know I, I've heard something about maybe some tryouts this off season, okay. but okay. we'll take so, it with a grain of salt. And just hoping to see if it works out, right? Sure. Yeah. You know, just as far as now, you played in the fall league too in Arizona, didn't you? This mm -hmm. past yeah. year. What was that experience like for you? What did you kind of take from that? That was probably the coolest baseball experience that I've. Um, dealt with uh, on my first hand, um, just playing with that caliber of player and um, just a full on experience of knowing that a lot of those guys are going to be in the big leagues either yeah. this year, yeah. some of them already have, or um, in the next few years. So it's just a whole different level of baseball, and I really learned a lot from it. What, in what way do you feel like it made your game better as far as just playing in the fall league? Um, well, for me specifically, uh, I was working with a lot of other pitchers that I've never worked with okay. or talked to before. They okay. were kind of giving me tips and tricks on how to manipulate pitches better. So, gotcha. all helping towards my repertoire. Gotcha. Now, your dad, you know, being a former pro, what advice did you give you just as far as being a pro athlete? Yeah, he pro? he really focused on the mental side. Yeah. Um, he was never one to be um, the most sought after athlete, but he yeah. was always yeah. always preaching, you know, hard work and um, work ethic goes a long way and pushes you to the next level. You know, I know you you know you're trying to be that first pro to make a pro out of the Air Force and you know what what would it mean to you just to make to that level someday in the majors just to get the chance to play. Uh, it's everyone's dream, you know, that yeah. while you're here, so you try for it. <laughs> yeah. You know, what do you feel it's gonna take for you to maybe have that chance someday? Uh not really sure. I mean yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just worried about the game tomorrow, you know. Yeah. You know, do you just is it easy to stay focused on your approach and what you have to do every day and just put your best out there and hope it's enough? Yeah, I mean, I know what I need to do to get better, so every day I come with a game plan and try to execute as best of my ability. Just as far the last thing, I mean, just as far as getting that chance someday to represent your country in the Olympics, what would that mean to you just uh, you know, not only doing it in the military, but doing it you know, on that stage as well? I think it'd be an awesome opportunity to go somewhere else, a place I've never experienced, and play baseball. I appreciate your time.